Hello, my name is Saida Baba Taliba. Here, sitting in my office on a very warm day in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here for Miss Fiona Bloom and the Bloom Effect, we are going to get into this efficacy. Efficacy. No, there is no snow outside. I see leaves on the trees. I hear squirrels and birds and bees. My mom's a singer. My uncle's a singer. My cousins are singers. My sister's a singer. My aunt's a singer. My last name should be Singer. I guess birth? I guess, you know, watching my mom had everything to do with why I'm doing what I'm doing. And just having it in the family, just being inspired by the people around you. So, was there a defining moment? Mom put me up on stage when I was six, so I, I think she figured if I knew how to talk, I knew how to sing. And that I did. I had no choice. <laughs> Either that or I stand up on stage stunned and not doing anything. Touring, being uh, given the opportunity to tour with so many different artists and singing with so many different artists and also be on stage as a solo artist myself and, and affect people. I think that's my biggest highlight. Yeah. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd pay off my debt, yes I would, and finish my album. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd go on vacation, cause Lord knows I need a vacation. Put some Canadian content in there, bare naked ladies. <laughs> Who am I digging right now? Um, the Dead Weather, Janelle Monet, Jamie Liddell. Um, yeah. Me. I'm digging me. I don't have one favorite. You're asking a Libra to choose. The first word that comes to mind are a heavy. Music would be one. Pen and paper would be two. And I say a blanket because sometimes it gets cold at night, even when it's hot, you know. I can fend for myself, eat some fruit and, you know, find some coconut. I'd be good. <coughs> if I am faced with sweets, chocolate, chocolate, and chocolate. Chocolate. And chocolate drop. For everyone to have proper food and proper water in the whole world. Because there is not a, an even distribution of anything in this world. I'm talking about just our, our God-given birthright to live and live healthy, you know? Live with good food and good water. This organic stuff being only available or mostly available to people who can afford it, that's just not fair. And giving crap food to people who can't afford it and getting them hooked on that, I'm so not for that. So that would be my ad for the world over to be able to have food and fresh water. Don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop believing in yourself. When people stop believing in you, 
you are the last one left to believe in yourself. So you have to believe in yourself first, last, and always. <laughs> Thank you.